Hey guys, just finished watching Marvel's Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 18, Roads, All Roads Lead. Um, wow, what, a, what an episode. I mean, it, it is really interesting, the, the, the show, because this is technically our last episode before we go, at least I will be seeing uh, Inhumans, uh, Inhumans, uh, Avengers Infinity War, just before watching next week's episode. I have my tickets for the 30, the 26th, which will be the Thursday before it comes out. So it's interesting to see that we have the episodes coming out um, this season. Our last episode will be coming out on May 18th, uh, which will just be a few days actually after. And we also, ha we, all we also have an episode coming out on May 4th, which was the original release date for Avengers Infinity War, at least here in Canada and the U.S. type thing. So it is interesting that we're getting one here. We're also going to get one, obviously, on the 27th, the day that uh, the, the show was supposed to come out, the day that it is coming out next week. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see if that next week's episode gets, you know, sets up Infinity Wars and connected at all to Infinity War. Um, we do. It's nice that the whole um, we're getting a connecting episode, hopefully, with Infinity War kind of at the end of the season so that could be really cool going into that and then the last episode is is called uh, the end and stuff so this this episode getting to this episode it was really really interesting we start off with Talbot's double agent continuing off from last week last episode when his uh his wife kind of activated him over the phone um and ruby uh, and we also get there, we see Ruby has Fitz uh, working on, Fitz and Simmons working on the Gravitonium and working on the machines for that. They're trying to stall her, but they, you know, she has, uh, they struck her kid and he's able to see uh, whatever they're screwing up and they're taking, they're, they're, they're buying time. Uh, Yo-Yo tries to make it to the Zephyr to try and, uh, you know, to, to the ship to, uh, to, to warn people, but her arms are running low and they're not working. Uh, Creel is getting worse. The head, the, the voices inside of him are making him driving him crazy. Uh, Hale ends up sur surrendering to May, to Daisy and May, uh, as they attack their place. Uh, Yo Yo uses her speed. Uh, you know, she takes the, the one guys away, making it, making her arms even worse, keeps making them worse, and then Talbot ends up knocking out Robin's mother. Thought he killed her, but he ends up just knocking her out. Uh, Fitzsimmons uh, finishes. Uh, end up finishing the machine for Ruby. And then Ruby ends up injecting herself with 8% of the Gravitonium, but it drives her mad. She ends up accidentally killing uh, the Struckers, or the Strucker kid, uh, Werner on Strucker. Uh, and th that was just so cool the way she did it. And then Yo-Yo ends up killing Ruby by slashing her, using her speed and slashing her head. Now, that's one thing that would have made that scene better, and I feel like this was probably in the original script, but then they're like, oh, we can't do that. Uh, you know, it's too violent for a Mar for a Disney Marvel show connected, which is technically owned by Disney, and a Disney-owned show, but it would have been really cool and way more impact impactful um, is if Ruby, had, you know, her Hale had been holding her mother, had, had been holding Ruby, and then the whole head just kind of fell off because it was a shock to see her throat slit and then you know the blood uh but i think it would have been really cool as if you know yo-yo going at so speed and, and the pain of her 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 arms and stuff being all out of whack as if her whole head had just kind of slid right off that would have been really cool to see that that's the one i was going to looking for is to doing that and there's a way you could have done that to make it look the head slide off and then there's no not show so much blood because there shows so much blood with his throat slit and all that stuff i don't know why uh, just cutting off the head and having the whole head roll away uh, from the body having that um i think that would have been really cool to seeing that that's what i would have done but maybe they couldn't go with that for, to make for you know tv violence and stuff but um you know this is really really interesting episode and then uh, after the last scene we get it's almost, it's almost like a hidden scene type thing the, these little end cliffhangers but we get Hale um reporting a teleport who teleports herself to the alien and ends up sending sending the alien to after the shield team and that's what we get for the trailer for next week's episode so all in all this episode was really good um the the tension in this episode was high we are on episode 18 we only have we're going 22 episodes i think this season yeah we're going to 22 episodes this season so that'll be really cool we're getting an episode actually comes out may 18th which is the day before which is when deadpool comes out so that's cool too but i don't we're gonna get a connection there 
um, yeah, so this is really interesting. This is a really cool episode. Uh, it's really fun. I like the, the the tension everywhere is really high, especially with so much stuff going on and everything is. is I was thinking about this and the connection between this and you know and Captain Marvel and the whole idea. I'm hoping. I'm still keeping hope that Captain Marvel might have some you know modern scenes, at least between Captain America between uh, Coulson and uh, Nick Fury, since Nick Fury knows that Coulson's obviously alive. Um, and we can get some sort of stuff, and that's how we can set up uh, Captain Marvel for Avengers 4. I think that could be an interesting idea. You know, maybe Coulson has heard about, obviously, we'll have heard about whatever's going on in Avengers Infinity War, and he can say, he could probably talk to, uh, and they, they could be, I'd love to see some, at the beginning and end of Captain, Captain Marvel, them talking about that, you know, let's bring in Captain Marvel to uh you know to help with the next the next whatever the next movie is going to be avengers 4 title is going to be i think that could be quite cool for that and i can't wait to see you <clears throat> where things go uh with all that idea and i'm also thinking about the idea of if if there's no modern scene i mean if the entire movie of captain marvel is entirely a flashback and we get no post avengers post you know still alive colson and none that doesn't really affect uh the show which uh, hopefully there is some sort of connection to this show, to the fact that he's alive still. But if they hope there's not a single show, then it's like, okay, they could kill him off on this show like they want to, like they're doing right now, and then have him not, uh, and then have him, you know, be dead on this show, but still, he's still alive to go to film his stuff. And uh, he was alive in the past, and that's how it works, right? So, completely pre Avengers, uh, Agent Coulson, pre even Iron Man, Agent Coulson type thing. So, and that's it, right? Um, but then it, I see I don't see them doing that, actually killing him off in this, and then going into that because what do you do? Go into that, use the movie, which is will be the ultimate advertisement for the Shield show. Uh, even if you never see a modern ver- modern version of Coulson, you just go, oh wow, and you bring people back into the whole Coulson idea, brings them back in, kind of the way they did with uh, Infinity War and. Um, and and the Black Panther movie by having Black Panther before the movie Black Panther was even out, you seeing Black Panther in the Infinity War trailer. Everyone who saw that mo- that trailer went, oh wow! And then if they had any decide uh, reasons they were not going to watch Black Panther, they went to watch Black Panther. So it was just an endless circle of promotion that self promoted itself. You know, Black Panther is a promotion for Infinity War, and Infinity War trailer was a promotion for Black Panther all at the same time. So it's a one, it's endless cycle, and that's why how uh, it was. Just perfect way to, to hype each other up so i think that's a, an interesting way to do that here now obviously everyone who most people who are watching the shield show are going to watch uh, you know a captain marvel movie whether or not you know just the sheer idea of it you know it's most people are not going to miss a single mcu thing so most people are watching shield so it's going to be cool to see how that plays on and maybe you bring some more people from uh watching shield stuff from the movie after it could re- re- get some more interest back into colson so i think it's going to be an interesting idea to see that and if you know if people were to watch captain america captain marvel and you know there's it's a completely flashback there's not a single version of not a single frame of uh of, of modern still alive pre post avengers um colson then and then they go and, and they're like oh you know what they decide to watch uh each of shield whether it's on netflix or whatever they catch an episode and then they see he's not in it you know they just catch a modern episode on tv or whatever or the latest episode and try to pick up from where we are now then it's just they're they're just gonna like jump leave jump ship because he's dead so i really i really don't think that they're gonna get they're gonna kill him they're gonna kill him off because because of that there's just that perfect marketing you know to use the movie that he's in to have him gone um and also having him on you know on tv all the time which reminds people that he's still alive with even if it's just the even if it's just the people the ads and stuff uh even if you're not following the show you just if you happen to see the ads on tv i think it's an interesting idea to keep that keeps the idea the, the memory um and i think this is a huge part why they wanted to keep the show and they didn't and marvel and disney said to abc no 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 no, you can't cancel this show so it's really going to be interesting to see uh where things go with all this show and how that connects into captain marvel how this connects to infinity war um i could see us getting our connection but probably not till uh it looks like we're, we are getting the, the episode 20 on may 4th when that uh, when that was supposed to come out so we might get it we might get it this next 
you might get an, one next week connecting, which was the one before the episode, um, or you might get one right after. So I'm thinking either you know the 27th or the 24 or the 4th of May, uh, maybe the 11th at, at the latest. But this this is ending going towards the season ending, uh, so there might not be too much of a connection to it for New War. If I'm not mistaken, Infinity War might might be taking place on a different planet, not necessarily on Earth. So it's not like they're going to be seeing it on the news or anything like that. But the idea that the Avengers are gone and everything uh, is an interesting idea. Is, is an interesting idea at least if they get disappeared to a different Earth. Um, if Thanos, you know, if they all Doctor Strange takes them all and has the whole Infinity War battle teleported to a different planet so that they don't hurt, you know, any casualties on Earth. Then I'd like to see at least on Shield. A minimum, I would like to see a uh, news report saying, "Oh, the Avengers, you know, Captain America, Tony Stark, all these characters, they're all just disappeared. No one can find them." You know, uh, that would be an interesting idea is to see, you know, the diff- different people. Just a news report saying the Avengers are missing, you know, and they're actually fighting at Thanos type thing. So I think that could be cool to seeing uh, where things go. And it was really cool for Avengers too how they had shield kind of setting them up and you know they they found the the uh, the scepter on in avenger in on, on shield and they called gave the information to uh, maria hill and she called in the avengers so i think that's really it would be a cool idea and if it's just a little connection like that it would be quite fun obviously i don't think i don't see them at topping the uh, winter soldier connection with the shield destroying and it kind of you know, because that's actually the same namesake of the show, so they had to do that. But uh, who knows? They could re- probably surprise us, and we might be able to get something, or maybe some of the stuff that that agent that uh, Clark Gregg was filming on the, the set of of Captain Marvel. Maybe they took some of that footage through and emailed it quickly over to um, to the directors uh, for Infinity War and, and snuck in a clip there. Who knows? Uh, or I'm still holding hope that maybe they filmed a clip on uh, on the shield set and the show tv show set and sent that in so maybe we might get our, our, our teaser there all in all i definitely can't wait to see where things go with this show how things are going to end you know with everything it was really cool seeing the little girl playing ruby as how was like stone faced she was to knowing that she's not going to die and all that stuff um this episode was great and i definitely can't wait to see where their show is going um with the new war captain marvel all that stuff coming i'm really excited to see where things are going so let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below what do you think about shield season 5 episode 18 all roads lead and i'll see you guys next episode peace out excelsior i'm captain america here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have subscribing sometimes subscribing is the key to victory sometimes it leads to very little and it seems like it's not worth it and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing how many more of these